Good day grade 10s, welcome to the next lesson in measurement. In this lesson we're going to be learning about volume, how to calculate the volume of right prisms and cylinders. Well, it's actually easier than working out the total surface area. First of all, volume is the three-dimensional space occupied by the object. In other words, it's how much space the object takes up. And the volume of a right prism or cylinder is calculated basically by multiplying the area of the base times the perpendicular height. That's it. So let's look at some examples. First of all, the rectangular prism. Now remember, what did we say? We said the volume, the volume, whoopsie, the volume is equal to the area of the base times by the perpendicular height. Well, the area of the base is going to be 5 times by 8 because this is a rectangle. So that's going to be 5 times by 8 times by the perpendicular height of 4. So 5 times 4 is 20, so you've got 20 times 8, and 2 times 8 is 16, so that's 160. And remember, volume is cubic. How do we know that? Because if you think about it, we're multiplying centimeters by centimeters by centimeters. So therefore we've got centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is always going to give you centimeters cubed. But remember this stands for any of your units. It doesn't just work out for centimeters. Let's do another example. The triangular prism. Now the triangular prism, there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can either think of this, or all of them really, you can think of this as the base and then that's the perpendicular height or we can say right and in fact that's what we have to do. So that there is our base. Our base is our triangle. So the volume is remember the area of the base base times the perpendicular height. And the area of the base in this case is going to be the area of a triangle. So in this case it's going to be half times the 8 times the 3 times this year which is your perpendicular height because remember that that is always that's what a right prism is it means that this is perpendicular to the base so therefore that's times about 12 so that cancels makes a 4 and you've got 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 12 I'm really hoping you know is 144 centimeters cubed but if you don't know that you can just pop it in your calculator so that is the volume of a triangular prism let's look at a cylinder now the cylinder is much easier to work out the volume than it is to work out the total surface area because remember that the volume again is just the area of your base times your perpendicular height and in this case the area of the base is a circle. So that is going to be pi r squared times the perpendicular height or you can write it as pi r squared h. Okay, then it's pi times the radius squared, so that's 2 squared times by the height of 4 which becomes 2 squared is 4, 4 times 4 is 16 pi and then to get a more accurate answer or just a more usual answer we can pop it in our calculator it would be 16 times and that is shift pi equals 50.27 so that there is equal to 50.27 centimeters cubed. Now grade 10 the most important thing about this which other than working out the volume is making sure that these are all in the same units. You cannot multiply meters with centimeters because then we're not going to get centimeters cubed. So please be careful about that and make sure everything's in the same unit before you work out your volume. And grade 10 that's it. Area of volume, I mean Volume is equal to area of base times the perpendicular height. That's it. That's how easy this is. Have a great day. Please go make sure you can do these things and then go do the assessment at the end of the section.